Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Farming Simulator 19 here on Long Oak Farms. Your host, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, we have chickens. I don't know if I showed you on the last episode or not, but uh, they're doing pretty good. They're doing pretty good. Uh, I'm going to probably be a short little vlog here that I'm going to do. You can see right over a blue truck with a trailer and something red. A bunch of equipment lined up in the shop yard. We're going to get to that here in a minute. Probably going to plant some sunflowers today. So uh, grab me something cold to drink, like sweet tea or some water. I'm drinking water myself this morning. So let's get started. I'm going to launch my drone and show you a few things. Before I show you this, so I'm going to insert this clip here. All right, what do you think about that? Well, here's the outcome of it. We'll fly over here. As you can see, the forest little, little thumb that was stuck out in the field there, it is gone. You can kind of see the indention out across there. But it is gone. We got more field land here to plant. I think it was ice. Demon or ice demon that said, uh, you know, more land's better. That's that's right. Now, I got this little piece right here that I cannot terraform. There's a stump or something, there's two spots. There's one there, I kind of got it, but this one here seems to be a little bit bigger, and that's as close as I can get it to level. I guess I probably come down some and maybe make a trench across here like it's going into the lake but uh i just kind of ran out of money so yeah anyway i opened all got all these trees knocked out open this land up here so we got a good good sized field uh you can probably see some spots that ain't been fertilized in some lands well, that's the second stage this wet there but I still have some more logs to pick up. I got these left here. Oh, wrong way, drone. And I also got a little spot right here. You see a little hump there I can't terraform. But I can't find no stump over there. Now, uh, ones over there is little baby trees. I, I couldn't grind them up. But if it's something like this, I can grind up and get rid of it. But I, I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, I opened these fields up. We got a load on the truck to haul off, and this is what's left. And also, you probably seen on that video clip that there was a track hole thing. Well, I leased it in a bulldozer, yeah, bulldozer, well, wood chipper on the front of it to help out. Uh, I got a load of wood chips in a trailer that's up at the shop, and our stump grinder here has got some wood chips in it and you see right through here where this hump's at that is where the tree line used to be and you see right here this is what's left of it let's go up take a look I don't know exactly where a field boundary is on here but I'm gonna where are these guys at I'm gonna come on up to probably all the way up to the tall trees. I'm going to leave the tall ones there. Probably take some of this out here too. Uh, what I'm going to do is just open this on up. And make a field bigger. And I think all of this back here is going to be grassland when we get done. So what I'm planning on doing. Oh, let me turn this on so y'all can see. Uh, field 41. I'm thinking about turning it into... Uh, a cereal ground you know uh, so we plant crops and stuff like wheat barley and stuff like that and I have field 29 here all in grass all this back in here in grass uh, that way you can just uh, bail it and put it back here now I did find out a couple other things I'm going to explain to y'all but um, let's fly back around here to the shop 
so y'all can see some of the equipment. Uh, I'll explain here in a minute how I got this money to buy this stuff with. Um, but I had to let something go in order to get some of this. But we got four uh, gravity flow wagons. We got two green ones. And right over here we got two blue ones. I don't know what's up with that more. There's more that keeps on dancing with me. Let's see. Let's go down drone. We have a, a spray boom that I bought, a little bitty one for the smaller areas. And of course, y'all know about the mower, but the mower was straight behind this tractor. And every time I restart the game, it's in a different position. So we might have to watch out for that. Uh, we finished spraying with this boom, and I unhooked it from the tractor. And we hooked that up to the baler. That tractor is going to hook up to something else. Um, but y'all probably don't recognize this tractor. Let's see if I can come down a little bit lower without hitting anything. Got a 4955 four wheel drive. Um, also ended up getting, I uh, believe, a 4640 back here. And of course, the, the wind roller here. We got a rate to rake the stuff up so the baler can get it. And there's our wrapper. Uh, here's this uh, 4640 we also got. And let's see here. We'll go that way here in a minute. I'll come on around here. Here's our planters. Y'all seen that in the last episode. Um, here's our we got a new truck. It's a what is it? F one fifty. Yeah, I should know that. I used to have a truck just like it. it's blue and white. But uh, it was a eighty two model, nineteen eighty two. But mine was automatic. I think this is standard. But I, I wish mine was four wheel drive. Mine was just a two wheel drive. All right, let's fly our drone. I'll stay kind of low so I won't hit the. Piper. Now we we'll come over here. I also bought a pressure washer. I put it on that side of the barn. But I want to show y'all this. This is the '89 model, I believe. F150 Ford 150. My dad used to have a truck like this, and it was a five-speed. Well, it was a two-wheel drive, though, but this one's four-wheel drive. Got the uh, fifth wheel in the back. Uh, good towing package and stuff. We got this trailer here to haul stuff. And yeah, this is a heavy-duty trailer. We can put on semi and haul tractors and stuff if we wanted to. But yeah, probably, well, they brought our tether down for us. But I had to go and get this. Y'all probably like, what the heck is that, Mr. Blue? Well, it's on a tricycle type deal now, but it hooks to our truck we got, and it holds seeds and fertilizer. It's just an auger wagon for seeds and fertilizer, basically. All right, I'm gonna. Oh, yep, we got this thing too. That we'll use it this year, but next year we're going to. I went ahead and got it so we could have it, but it's, uh, I can't think of ammonia nitrate applicator. I think I said that right. Uh, yeah, it's uh, just a knife thing that puts fertilizer down in the ground for corn. Uh, puts it right beside the rows, so we're going to try that out. Yeah, right, let me bring my drone back down. Which it was down pretty far, <laughs> anyway. Okay, we got work to do now, since uh, nine minutes of explaining stuff. Still got a little bit more explaining to do about the money and what I got in these doors. This is the major buy, one of them. We got us a Ford, folks. I don't know too much about it. I just know it's a Ford um, semi. The bed back here is kind of special. Uh, this is our fertilized tank. Let's get in and start it up because we got to move out of the way anyway. Ford Caterpillar 3406. 
and that's got a fertilized tank on the back. Ooh, listen to that. Take a look on the inside. Nice and blue, I like that. What's the orange sign like? Well, it's quiet in here. It's... There we go. But this uh, tank comes off and you can use it as a regular semi. It also has a flatbed you can put on it. Let's see, we're going to park it. It's getting kind of crowded up in here. Let's park it right here. 17, there used to be a field trigger here for fertilizer, but now it's not. Oh. There we go. Plow park break. Shut this baby off. And brings us to the next piece. Now you're probably like, Mr. Blue, how did you get all this stuff? Well, the trees and the wood chips helped a lot. But I had a problem. Uh, my lawyer was talking to me and he was like, you ain't used the combine yet, have you? I'm like, the one that's in the shed? And he's like, yeah, because it's not yours. I'm like, what? He's like, before your brother passed, he sold it to a guy, but the guy didn't give him the money because he passed away. So we don't have a combine no more. But that's okay. We don't need one right now. This, uh, of course, I put some equipment here, but this right here is our main purchase, that and the truck. We got a new uh, 12 row, yeah, 12 row with these tanks here. Uh, which I oh, gotta put the tire, the duals back on this tractor out right here, and we're going to hook to that and plant some sunflowers today. So, yeah, I got 45,545 left out of all the stuff I spent, but uh, I bought all the stuff. That I pretty much think we needed because we need the fertilized truck along with the two spray booms because this and here is probably going to do custom applications for our uh, neighbors. But I'm gonna put the duals back on this tractor. I switched uh, our spray tractor, put it on the baler because I did have uh, this tractor on the baler. And uh, I forgot we need to plant sunflowers today. When we back this thing in here, and I will show y'all the uh, the planting details and stuff. All right, about right there should do it. The paint's getting wore on this thing too, pretty bad. All right, we're going to customize. I don't know why it always, always takes the things off here. That's good. Uh, I just want, yeah, rear duels. Uh, A400, out, toolbox, no, go ahead to tank mount. Okay, that should do it. All right, I'm gonna get my tablet here real quick and we'll go into this. And as you can see, Right here, sunflowers. We we could have been planting sunflowers. Uh, we did plant wheat. That's going to be for the chicken sunflowers. Soybeans and corn. We're going to plant tomorrow. Get a second day in. So, uh, yeah. Now, as far as cotton, it don't have it here. 
But as soon as we hit 61 degrees, hopefully, it, you know, it'll be right in here somewhere. I'll probably want to plant some here and a little bit here of cotton. Because we got it where it's on our, oop, we're on any. And it would have a save point. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Um, let's see here. Watch it be the wrong map. Nope, right here. Cotton. Spinnery. We can sell cotton on this map. But I just don't have when to plant. So. Oh yeah, I want to check the. There's still nothing but cultivating. Uh, a few plant missions. Sewing. I don't see that, man. Oh, right there. Field 26. I might take this up. But we're going to use his tractor, probably. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. This thing takes so long to take off. I don't know why they're like that. And I can't get my radio to go off. Uh, anybody knows how to do that? Let me know, please, down below in the comments. All right, what I'm going to do is uh, come in here, get all this stuff hooked up, show y'all. And then uh, probably do a jump cut of being in the field. And then that'll probably be it for this episode. Um, I got, for me, it's Monday morning, and, and for y'all, it should be October the 4th, it should be a Thursday, oh, why am I hitting, I hit that, these easy, you can drive right between them, and bam, and they're already loaded with fertilizers, which we, and we can't do application of fertilizer here but I was going to have it where this tractor could spray too let's take the duals off and it spray well, actually it can spray with the duals on because that doesn't no fold up to the sides alright and there's our plant oh I'm going to wall a bit our 12 row planter looking awesome go ahead and fold this baby up all right, folks, I will meet y'all out in the field, okay? Be right back. All right, we're going to get our GPS set up here, folks. And we are in field 32. Oh, don't get set up to that line. There we go. New line made. One of uh, we're pretty much west of the shop there. You can see the middle ways at the left side of the map there. I'm flashing. Field 32. We're going to plant half sunflowers and half corn. So uh, let's turn this baby on. And let's get planting. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Raise up. Uh, there we go. Sunflowers. We might have a little spot of corn there. All right. Now we should be planting sunflowers. GPS on. Looking pretty good. I do say so myself. Now you know why I got that red box for it. It's going to be a C-Tender 
for uh, this one, which we won't be using to fertilize. It'll just be uh, seeds. So, but I can put seeds on both sides if I have to. Um, probably get that set up next time. Like I was saying, I'm on have a worker uh, take care of this while I'm getting dressed and everything for the day. I just uh, my mom took kids to school, and I'm like, I'm gonna record the episode real quick to help me out. And uh, yeah, we got weeds. We're gonna have to spray some herbicide after we plant. I might have to spray some fertilizer too. So, but anyway, that's part of it. So now I got to see the planter a little bit. We'll probably see you again next episode where we're planting corn. And uh, yeah. Probably planting some soybeans too. Alright. First through didn't take very much seeds, so we might get across here pretty good. Gonna be a little bit rough on this road here. Farmer John over here ain't got nothing planted, so I'm just gonna not really get in his field, but just use it to turn around. That way, the GPS and stuff, we don't have to back up or anything like that with it. Just let her down and go. That's the way I like it. That's the way I love it. I want some more of it. I try so hard to rise above it. Oh, wait, what? Ah, good old 8400. I miss driving her. Mine wasn't quite this way as, yeah, steps are a little bit different, but my tank, my, well, there's two of them I drove. The tank was on front of one, the other didn't have a tank. The one with the tank we used for the planter and all that stuff. Um, we did spray fertilizer behind. We had the little sprayers behind spraying. And, uh, yeah. Well, folks, I hate to rush off of here, but I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. And uh, appreciate you coming out and watching. If you're new, you want to, hit that bell icon when you subscribe. That way you'll be notified of all my future videos and stuff. Uh, might be a day or two I don't get to make a video. So, uh, but I'm going to try to post every day at 4 p.m. Uh, Central Time. That'd be, uh, what is it? It's Chicago Time, I guess you can say. Uh, I live in the middle of the United States, in Arkansas. Uh, so it's that time zone. Should be Central. Um... So, yeah. I'm going to back up. I don't want to get out and hit grass. The grass should be ready to mow in a day or two. So, we got to hurry up and get all situated. But, uh, that's going to do it, folks. So, I'm going to finish this up, get about halfway. Well, it's going to take a little while. Right, it's going to take a while to get over. A little past the tree there. About where it starts rising up on that hill. A little square mark out there. It should be halfway. So, um, yeah. I'll see y'all in the next episode. Y'all have a great day. A blessed day. And it's been your pal Tommy. See you later, folks. Bye.